Hello viewers, welcome back. So we continue with permanent magnet motors and this time I prepared a Chris Wojtowicz permanent magnet motor. A, really, a little bit different design than other magnetic motors but you will see it is really interesting. So let's get to the drawings and see how it's supposed to work. Alright viewers, so let me describe you this rather unusual magnetic motor. You will see there are some key, f um, key features which are different from other motors and you can, I think, uh, see them already before I even start speaking. So you can see we have a, we have a stator, uh, this green area which are, in which are mounted stator magnets. Yeah, so this, I think it's 14 magnets. We have rotor with two magnets, one above and one below, so 90 degrees apart. Yeah? And we have additionally, we have additionally one electromagnet on the top of the stator, and we have one special magnet. And let me know this is the housing. Yeah, this is the housing, and I will now hide this, that we have better overview. And we have one special other magnet which is on the bottom, and this is a, with some kind of different shape. Yeah? Uh, let me let me also hide this. So you can see on the bottom of the stator, it's rather unusual uh, magnet. Yeah, it's not standard shape like the stator magnets. It, it's square, square looking. It's it's like a round magnet, but it has some kind of slope on the end, and that is used for decrease the cogging effect. Yeah, so that is how it's described in the patent. And you can read it. And let, how we said before, on the top. There is electromagnet which is used to start the motor, you know, to start and to control the speed of the rotor. Yeah? So that is the that is the purpose of the electromagnets, like like in many other magnet motors I described. And if I turn this around, you see that there are. So this is the main shaft of the rotor. And now I will turn it around. So from the other side, you can see that this is the. This, this uh, rotor magnets can also turn and this, this is the, also one of the key difference between other motors. Yeah? This, this rotor magnets can also because they are mounted on, on the shaft with the bearings. Yeah? And I really didn't figure out if this is controllable from the outside source or electrically but basically this is the idea. It must have also the rotatable rotor magnets. Yeah? And uh, if I zoom it out, so you can see it's it's not so complicated. And the, the key difference, I would say, that it has only half of the stator. It's the permanent magnets are only half of the circle of the rotor. Yeah. So, so you can see that when this electromagnet will actually attract in one moment and start the motor, and you can see that like poles and this. Uh, stator and uh, stator rotor and stator magnets has like poles and it will accelerate here and when will it come to the bottom to this special magnet special shaped magnet uh, he will ensure that it uh, it has this cogging effect uh, to actually that it easier passes passes this point and that and then it has a free pass until the next until the next circle yeah, and then in this moment for of course second magnet this one here um, start the, the process yeah it says that uh, in the patent that uh, it only permanent magnets are uh, needed for this to work and this uh, and this electromagnet is only used to start and to control the speed of the motor so I'm not sure but uh, it it's written in the patent then please have a read it so you'll, you will know yeah and this is it. So the key is in this pattern it is we have a special uh, shaped magnet, stator magnet, last magnet on the stator, which is used to reduce the cogging effect. So basically uh, this is effect to not to stop the rotor or that opposing magnetic field do not stop the rotor. And also you can see that from, from this point you can see that how it's north is above and in, in this moment the, their left and right sided yeah so you can see that the uh, rotor has turned in this point over here yeah uh, a rotor magnet and this is basically it let me unhide this unhide so you can see now this is the housing 
uh, in the complete set. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting motor because it doesn't have the the magnets in 360 degrees around the rotor. Yeah? So this is the special case. And let me now put it a little bit in the X-ray mode because it helps always a lot with explaining. So you can now see that this really the the uh, ferromagnetic core with the, the windings and this is actually our electromagnet in the end these are the stator, ma uh, stator magnets this is the rotor the, and uh, this is the support for the let me turn this indifferent you know, on the other side so you can see this is a uh, bearings for the rotor magnets so from up and then down and this is it nothing hidden here really simple device uh, and uh, yeah it would be nice to replicate this one and to see really if, if it can work in maybe please do uh, post some comments whether you think this uh, can work or not work but from my point of view it's a really really nice nice and clean design and um, uh, whoever wants to know more please have a read the patent I always put the link below Alright viewers, so that was Chris Wojtovic's permanent magnet motor. A little bit different motor you saw because it has only two permanent magnets on the rotor which is actually rotatable and it has a half of the path uh, of the rotor there are permanent magnets on the stator. And the key is uh, how the pattern describes the key is in this uh, bottom magnet, bottom permanent magnet which is also slightly rotat rotatable to overcome this codging effect not to stop actually and to uh, to avoid uh, opposing magnetic field to stop the rotor and of course the one of the key feature is the electromagnet on the top how how in many other motor is the key feature so to start and to control the speed of the rotor so basically this is it thank you for watching and please stay tuned on my channel and I will make soon some new motors. So bye bye.